bats were the third group of vertebrates to evolve flight after pterosaurs and birds. Bats are the second most diverse group of mammals after rodents. How do bats fly at night? Until the end of the 18th century, many assumed that the ability of bats to fly at night resulted from malevolent magical powers. We now know that bats produce a high-pitched sound which, after being reflected off objects around them, allow them to hunt even for insects. This use of sound for navigation, called echolocation, is not unique to bats. Echolocation has evolved separately in oil birds, cave swiftlets, tenrics, whales, and some gliding marsupials and rodents. Different bats emit different sounds. These sound pulses can vary in their length of duration, their pitch, and the rate at which they change their pitch and their volume. Bat noses and ears have been modified to conduct and receive sound, respectively. In bats, ears are more variable than in any other group of mammals and can reach the largest size relative to body size in mammals. The noses of certain families of bats are unique among mammals. They are composed both of an elaborate nasal integument and glandular structures. Among other structures, some bat species are solitary while others roost in colonies. These colonies vary in size in different species, from several individuals to more than 20 million. Bats spend about half their lives in their roosts and it is here that they mate, hibernate, and raise their young. While some bats will roost in a variety of settings and will use certain sites such as caves when they are available, other species are restricted to certain types of roosts. Rock crevices, holes in tree trunks, and spaces under tree bark are often used as roost sites as well. Most bats are nocturnal, becoming active around sunset. No other group of mammals is as diverse in its feeding habits as bats. Some have adapted to feeding on fruit, leaves, nectar, fish, and even blood. Bats are the primary nocturnal predators of insects, and they can ingest an amount of insects equal to their body weight during one night's feeding. While most feed on diverse insects, some specialize on one specific group of insects. Some bats are valuable to plants for their roles in pollination and seed dispersal. Barn owls, raccoons, skunks, bobcats, bullfrogs, and trout may sometimes feed on bats. All the bats of our area are nocturnal, hanging upside down during the day in trees, caves, tunnels, and buildings. While some female bats can give birth to four young, the majority only give birth to one or two per litter. The young cling to their mother until they mature.